Okay, let me show you how to set this up. First, grab your deck and remove about five or six cards. This is because the gimmick is quite thick, so if you don't take out the cards, it might not fit in the box. So take the gimmick and place it at the bottom of the deck. Take the entire thing, place it into the box, and that is ready. Next, take your chain gimmick. You're gonna put it on your neck, ensuring that the card is facing backwards. Tuck that card into your shirt like that, and then tuck the chain into your shirt from the front. And you're good to go. I start by approaching my spectators and taking out the cards, ensuring that the gimmick is facing downwards, okay? The gimmick facing downwards. I then do a Hindu force. If you don't know what a Hindu force is, check out my first class and come back. So essentially, I am forcing the bottom card. They're gonna say stop whenever they like, stop. At this point, I reposition my grip like that so that my middle finger can cover that gimmick as I show, okay? My middle finger is gonna cover that chain as I show them and I say, memorize this card. And they're gonna remember this one. I give them two seconds and then I place it back onto the deck and immediately I do an overhand shuffle. If you don't know what an overhand shuffle is, check out my first class again. <laughs> Essentially, what I'm doing is I'm actually controlling that gimmick from the middle all the way to the back. Now, because the gimmick is so thick, it makes the overhand shuffle control so easy, okay? You see a big gap right there, just pick up that chunk of cards and put it to the front. You are now in this position. The deck in your left hand, the gimmick at the bottom. I tell the audience that I'm going to find their card but in a very special way. And that's when I pull out the chain. Play a bit with the presentation. You can be funny, playful, could even play some sexy music, it's up to you. Be creative, all right? So, chain comes out, all eyes are here. Nobody knows what's gonna happen next. So, I then reposition my grip so that I'm holding the deck like this. At the bottom, with my index, my middle, and my thumb. And I'm also gripping that gimmick very, very gently, all right? Very gently. I then bring the deck close to the chain, and I do a few circular motions. I go one, I go two. As I'm doing that, I'm actually aligning the hook so that it's right above the chain. Okay, so I go one, I go two, now I know it's above the chain. On three, I drag down. And because I'm holding the gimmick so gently, as I drag, it's gonna hook onto the chain. Let me show you. So I go one, I go two, and I go three. Just like that, you just created a beautiful illusion. I let this moment sink in. I do nothing. Let them digest this and let them react. So I let it sit for about a few seconds. To clean up, I just take the entire deck, I place it above the gimmick, my thumb grips the hook so that it's secured. I pull everything back. Now that really sells the effect, that sound. <laughs> Once I know that the deck is behind my neck, I release the hook and I pull out the gimmick card from my shirt and I just take it to the front and I show.
for some tips. Number one, practice and practice. This trick requires a lot of practice and confidence to be able to pull it out smoothly. So spend lots of time practicing before going out to perform. Number two, over time, if you live in a hot country like me, this gimmick will wear out due to sweat when you put it behind. So if I can give you a tip, I would say to perform tag as an opening magic act, okay? Do this first before doing anything else. And then you're left with a clean deck which you can perform your other tricks. If everything fails and it breaks, you can easily build one in less than five minutes. So. Let's take at a quick real life performance and I'll walk you through it. All right, let's take a quick look. As you can see from the video, I've already done the Hindu force and I'm asking them to remember that card. Notice how my fingers cover the gimmick. I immediately do the overhand shuffle as I control that gimmick card all the way to the back of the deck. So now I'm just telling them that I'm going to find their card in a very special way. <laughs> I cracked some jokes about me stripping as I unbutton my shirt. So I pull out the chain and adjust my body. And I just position the card so that the hook is above the chain and I just pull down. And that's it, the card through chain. As you can see, the reactions, they're crazy. Have fun with this and if you have any questions, leave them below and I will get back to you. See ya.